Hello, welcome. I'm so glad that you found us. Welcome to members of St. Mark's Church. Welcome to visitors who are joining us. Welcome to newcomers who have found us. This is the Sunday after Pentecost, the Sunday on which the church celebrates the Holy Trinity. And so our hymns today, our readings, and the homily today will focus our attention on the nature of God. So welcome. I want to invite any of you who have pastoral concerns during this time of social separation that you let us know so that we can attend to your needs, keep you connected to the body of Christ, and serve you in whatever way will be helpful to you. So now I invite you to a time of prayer and listening, to a time of growth and celebration and thanksgiving for God who is among us. Our worship begins with the singing of the first hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Almighty Creator and ever living God, we worship your glory, eternal three in one, and we praise your power, majestic one in three. Keep us steadfast in this faith. Defend us in all adversity and bring us at last into your presence where you live in endless joy and love, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We listen now to God's holy word. First reading comes from the first chapter of Genesis and continues into the second chapter. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. And God said, let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters and that were above the dome. And it was so. God called the dome sky, and there was evening, and there was morning the second day. And God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was good, it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth put forth vegetation, 
plants yielding seed and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good and there was evening and there was morning the third day. And God said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let, them be lights in, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God sent them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves of every kind with which the waters swarm and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. There was evening, and there was morning the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind and the cattle of every kind and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make humankind in our image according to our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air and over the cattle, over all the wild animals of the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and, and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of all the earth and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw that he had made everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished in all their multitude. And on the seventh day, God finished the work that he had done. And he rested on the seventh day from all the work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. Because on it, God rested from all the work that he had done in creation. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We will read Psalm 8 responsively. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You whose glory is chanted above the heavens, out of the mouths of infants and children, you have set up a fortress against your enemies, silence the foe and avenger. When I consider your heavens the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have set in their courses. What are mere mortals that you should be mindful of them, and beings that you should care for them? Yet you have made them little less than divine. With glory and honor you crown them. You've made them rule over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet. All flocks and cattle, even the wild beasts of the sea, birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatever passes along the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, 
How majestic is your name in all the earth. The second reading comes from chapter 13 of the, second, of the, of the book 2 Corinthians. Paul writes, Finally, brothers and sisters, farewell. Put things in order. Listen to my appeal. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. Grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 28th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We confess our baptismal faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. <laughs> 